my gosh, is that a shark? Shark Tank, the show where businesses can thrive. I thought you had a boss. Oh. Shark Tank, where Kevin O'Leary makes dreams die. He's always like the dick one, but you know. As long as you got the truth hurts. <laughs> this video is gonna be us eating Shark Tank food. So oh, foods yes. that have been featured on Shark Tank, whether they got a deal or not. You know, we aren't investors, but maybe we can give our expertise to the, t we can bring our expertise to the table. We eat a lot of food, so. I wanna try the Shark Tank restaurants. So please donate to the GoFundMe below and we'll do a road trip across America Ooh. trying Cousins Maine Lobster, the other little food trucks, you know, all yeah. of that. Please but. donate. Ding. The first food item we have, I guess, th this this is food. Shut yeah. up, everyone. Say, coffee is food. Yes, it is, bitch. You know, I see too much stuff on the internet, and then I imagine people are hating on me with, whenever I say anything. Even in real life, when I'm talking to Lucas, I always give disclaimers. Yeah. It's bad. I am ill from the internet, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. This is some Povo Latte Premium Vietnamese Coffee. It looks sick. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say the packaging, I like how it's very simple, clean. Let, let's watch and see what she has, to, ooh, she has to say. Let's watch the pitch. Hi, I'm Debbie, and I'm here today seeking $600,000 in exchange for 4% of Whoa. my Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, so this company is doing good. Born and raised in California, Make no mistake, I was definitely raised in a Vietnamese household. Especially loved the sweet, creamy treat of Vietnamese coffee. Open it up and grab your biodegradable filter. <gasps> Gently biodegradable! That's great, actually. I mean, actually, <laughs> like no one knew. But like, that's good. If that you didn't that... know, like, yeah, that helps the environment. So biodegradable, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, that's where you don't even have to recycle it. You put it in the regular trash and it disintegrates and then like goes back into the earth, right? Should I hold and Google it? Should we stay on knowledgeable though? This is what might I know. Biodegradable is good. Yeah. For the off. Yeah, so we already are loving this. Yeah. Yeah, we're well, like environmental queens. <laughs> Get over your cup and then tear off the top and then pour hot water over Lori. the organic grounds <laughs> and immediately watch as your organic I coffee drips directly I love seeing a drip, but I do have to cup. say that. I know, we something about seeing stuff drip. I don't, what is that? Something about it's good. Mm. Yeah, keep it going, please. Then you get to add your copper cow creamer, and there is nothing else like it on the market. There are no preservatives oh, or cream. additives. Cream. Cream. And then, so sweet. Well, we, we do sell it just black, but we do find that most, just like most Americans drink their coffee with milk and sugar. Yeah, it's, it's good that they add the sugar and stuff because most people are used to the McDonald's caramel oh, coffee, yeah. you know? It's like half a scoop of ice cream in it. Yeah. Did you create this yourself? We perfected it in terms of exactly the brew that we want, but it's actually a technology that's very common in Japan. Because that's like a really good idea. I know, that actually it fits is. on the glass. And really? so we got into a thousand stores that month. What year was that? 2017. Oh, they don't go into sales, but I'm sure they did on the actual show, but I'm just gonna assume she had some sales to back that up. That was a, she, she seemed like she knew what she was doing. I trust her. She did get a deal. Oh, so obviously there were some sales to back it up, honey. So she has gotten her prices down since the show. It used to be $15 for a five, a five pack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, now it's $11 for a five pack. I mean, that is pricier than Keurig. But she did say you're getting a gourmet experience. So at least it's more expensive than Keurig, but it's less cheap than going to an actual gourmet place, obviously. Yes, we are gonna try it, but I just wanna let it be known that we watched, we filmed this earlier, so like, oh, we aren't yeah. completely knowledgeable. Oh, while we're making it, yeah, we hadn't watched this yet. So we're gonna go back in time. Oh yeah. Jacob, how's your day been going? It's been going terrible because I haven't had my coffee yet. Huh. You know those t-shirts that say, don't talk to me before I have my coffee? That's not me today because I, I'm talking to you and I haven't had my coffee and I'm addicted to caffeine. I knew something was up. If only there was some easy way to make coffee. I think there might be. Have you ever heard of pour over latte premium Vita Vietnamese coffee? No, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> we have some hot water over here, and yeah, you just pull it over. So these two go on the side, and then you open it. Whoa. You are now 
untoing a symptomatic experience. This reminds me so much of those one people that are so obsessed with coffee, and you know how they have all those coffee tools, but this is like the simple way of doing that. Oh yeah, I remember I actually looked into like something like that. Where it was like, yeah, a non-electrical thing, and you, what's it called? Just a French press or something? A French press, yeah, some shit like that. Preparation-wise, this is getting like good points because it's the same amount as doing, same amount of time as a Keurig. It's easy. And something that I was wondering is like, is it more um, environmentally friendly than Keurig, Keurig cups or not? Well, I guess it would depend if it's like biodegradable or recyclable. It's biodegradable. And of course I have to use the milk and sugar or latte cream more. Oh, I love seeing this mix. Oh, yes. Get it, Betty. This one actually wasn't as satisfying as I hoped. I know, it, I, like, I was kind of disappointed for you because you won't fully get in the pleasure you thought you were getting. That is some thick stuff coming out of there. <laughs> it's not semen. It's way too hot now, so I'm just gonna be impatient and put ice in it. Um, I'm not a coffee expert, but I would say it's duck. Does it taste like a Starbucks drink or is it, does it taste like, oh, just something you threw together at home? Or is it like, oh, this could be at a cafe. Oh, this reminds me of cafe coffee. It's like, oh, you, okay. yeah, you, you should try it. Cause right. maybe you've tried more coffee than me. Oh, McDonald's. Wait, you <laughs> heard you have McDonald's? <laughs> I just, um, I thought of that immediately. Cause you know, their coffee has so much flavor. No, it, it's good. But I never get unflavored coffee. I'm always getting black coffee, so. But is yeah. it giving like cheap coffee or expensive coffee? Because I was getting expensive. And yes, I did say it's giving. Is it giving? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it definitely tastes way better than Keurig. I have Keurig every morning. This tastes way more upscale. So I definitely think it is giving wealth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's giving upper middle class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, you've had it for a few minutes. Any new thoughts? I'm liking it, and there is a flavor in there that's so good. I want to see if you can taste that flavor. You're making it gross now. Cause like, <laughs> I feel like you're doing a shade. There's a good flavor. I mean, like, there's something in there, but... Okay, I don't want to like brag, but one time I did fly first class. Because this one company was flying me to France, and I never had drinking coffee at this time. <laughs> Basically, and, just like a sugar daddy or something. <laughs> I never, I didn't drink coffee at this time in my life. I was like 16, and I remember I had coffee on the plane in the morning, like when we were about to land, and it tasted like this. So that must be a good thing, right? That, yeah, that has to be. A good yeah, thing. like I said, nowadays I just drink cured coffee. This obviously tastes way better than that. This is fancy coffee. Yeah. That's what it is. I always somehow find a way to like bring up my first class story, but oh, so I'm glad yeah. I got it in, you know? Talk about the most random thing, and then you say, oh, yeah, when I flew first class to, uh, <laughs> to where did you fly? France. <laughs> I, I, it always makes its way into conversation. <laughs> Ding. Now we have a small edible spoon. Oh, I think I watched this episode. You did? You did? I think so. In my, my brain could wrap around an edible chocolate spoon. Also, like, I'm assuming it's good It's good for the environment. Because, like, it's like, you don't have to buy all these plastic spoons for your ice cream shop. Just use a chocolate spoon that you eat. I can't wait until you go to a restaurant and, like, you have to eat the plate and, like, the napkins and everything. <laughs> yeah, because at some point, it's like, this isn't helping the environment because no one's eating it. A fruit roll-up will be the napkin. Oh, can you put your bean? <laughs> Just gross. <laughs> Being in a sushi place and the, and the plate is seaweed and you roll it yourself? Wait. Oh, that would be cool. I Why don't they do it. that? Okay, I, I'm already on board with this, but let's let's watch it to see what they have to give. Are you a Barbara or a Lori girl? Bob, which one's Barbara's one with the short hair? Oh, um, I, I flip flop. I'm actually a Lori girl, but I don't want to be mean to Bob. I'm here <laughs> to share seven percent of equity of our incredible company for five hundred thousand dollars. A staggering amount of people are eating their food with single-use plastic utensils. But why do we use something just for a few minutes if it's gonna take hundreds of years to decompose? Incredible cutlery. Wow. 
I am happy that um, when he showed the, the plastic spoon sculpture, I thought he actually made one in real life and I was like, boo, you're contributing to it, but it was just a photo. <laughs> totally edible utensils. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's different flavors. So I was worried about just the only chocolate flavor, but. No, I think there's some for soups. Okay. <laughs> Eat your straw. Someone has done this before. Do you remember at the store when we were kids, Fruit Loops had a straw? Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, there was like Fruit Loops. Oh, wait, I kind of, that actually kind of brings back like this inkling of a memory. Wasn't it supposed to make the milk taste better or something? Yeah, so in a way, they were kind of like um, the environmental. I know. They're just helping the world. Fruit Loops. <laughs> So each spoon stays firm for up to 20 minutes in hot soups, like a hot food, and about an hour in an ice cream. Would you finish a soup in 20 minutes? I feel like I would. Yeah, I feel like I would. But then I'd always feel rushed. Put the time on. I <laughs> know, like that spoon just starts disintegrating. To buy and eat these, not even as the uh -huh. utensil. Then, this one was in the ice cream, and this oh, one has a vanilla flavor, flavors. and it tastes like a waffle cone. Yeah. So this is delicious. Look at Lori already selling it. Such a QVC queen. Completely focused on food service, because that's where the heaviest- For some reason that shot was funny to me. Now, that's the thing about this brand, is that it does sound silly, but I like it. I know, it. it just looks goofy. <laughs> I know. You don't know when you see this that it is edible. Nobody knows that till you tell them. So there's a fair amount of education that's gonna have to happen. Don't you just tell people I know. <laughs> they make it sound so complicated. Like, bitch, you literally just tell them. Oh, by the way, you can eat your spoon when you're done with the ice cream. If you were creative, you would know that you can impression and imprint into the spoon right, and into same. every piece that says eat but do me. I, I feel like we get it. Let's just see if we got a deal, yeah, right? Yeah, fast forward. Oh, should we guess? Who do you think is gonna get it? Because Lori wants it bad. Like. But sometimes Barbara swoops in to steal it from Lori. From the get-go, I feel like they were two minutes in and Lori was like, you can do this, you can do this, you can do yeah. this. Yeah, plus she could sell us in QVC so easily. Please, Lori, get it. Uh, am I allowed to counter? Counter? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Sorry. You just don't know what we'll do. Would any one of you do 12% for $500,000? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 They're like, nah. <laughs> I love how they said he could negotiate, but then they just say no right away. I know. <laughs> it's like, actually, you can't. <laughs> so, Lori? Oh, you have yes. Ah, wow. Good. There you go. Yay. <laughs> this box that I got from Amazon is $6.99 for 20 count. That's, yeah, that's obviously more expensive than plastic spoons, but. But it's an experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a big one. Yeah. Like, it, or, like you guys will see it in the, in the next couple of follows. I just in case you didn't know, like, it's gonna come up. Yeah, just, just wait a little bit. Right after this clip. We don't have any like scoops of ice cream, but we have this little, I actually don't even know what it is, but. See, what is it? Alvin's Organics. <laughs> it's a little bit melted. Looks like thawed and frozen a few times. That's fine though. Yeah. Should we cook it in the microwave for like 10 seconds so we don't break the spoons? But can they handle frozen ice cream? This is really frozen. Oh uh, yeah. Let's, let's like give five it five seconds. The benefit of the doubt. Helping the environment, but all individually, right? <laughs> oh, these are their small ones. They, have, they must have bigger ones, too, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is a cute little ice cream scooper, though. I know this is per the perfect size mm. and look just for ice cream. Oh, yes. oh that looks good, that. It is hard to grab things. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I was expecting it to taste different or something, but. Oh, no, the, the taste, when you lick it, like, basically it's like a graham cracker. So yes, it does work for baking oh. up stuff. It doesn't break. What? It looks like it's really hard. I'm, I'm gonna taste it now. You know what I mean? Yeah, at first you're like, holy shit, is it gonna break my teeth? And then it doesn't. It feels like I'm eating edible plastic. <laughs> it is a weird thing where it does feel like you're eating paper. When we watched the video, it said that if you held this for an hour, it would like start to break or whatever. Mm. So maybe if you were actually eating it for like 10 minutes, it would turn more, um, flimsy or something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like really good, but I eat it. Like if I went to a ice cream place, I would rather them have this than plastic spoon, you know? I, I would get this spoon, but I don't know if I eat it. Oh yeah, maybe take one bite. They have to those cookies and cream flavored though. The, the spoon? Yeah. That would make it so much better. Look, it is a win though. I'm like it's a win and I would use it sometimes, but not all the time. Is that it then? Yeah, that was our review. Ding. Now we have mushroom jockey. Okay. Immediately my mind goes to gross, but I'm gonna come up with an open mind. Do you like mushroom or no? I, it just depends. Like on pizza I do, but just like on its own. Also, is the bag have humidity on the inside? 
Yeah, it does look a little bit moist in there. But maybe, maybe it has to be in a moist environment. It does seem like people are getting more and more obsessed with mushrooms lately. Remember that whole documentary on Netflix about like just regular ass mushrooms and how like they're so magical? Well, no, yeah, not even like magic mushrooms, just like mushrooms in general. Like, yeah, just amazing. Let, let's watch it and like maybe there's something that we don't know. I mean, this is a really good idea, I gotta say, because obviously real life, like beef jerky is bad for you, I'm guessing, whereas mushroom jerky. Maybe it's good for you. I'm here today to talk to you about something that's near and dear to my heart. Jerky! Sharks, you're all busy and know what it's like to need fuel. When you're there presenting, there isn't music being played, right? I'm assuming no, it's silent. Dead so, silence. I know, because when you watched it, I was like, okay, it's awkward, but then the music started playing, and I was like, oh, it's not awkward, but in real life, there's no music, so. I've also heard that the pitches go for like 45 minutes in real life. I can't think of anything more satisfying than ripping into it a like meaty, a <laughs> chewy, does. delicious piece of jerky. He's into <laughs> it. He's like sexually attracted to jerky. So think about the presentation grosses me out, but how can you make jerky look good? Because no more jerky grosses me out <laughs> yeah. if it was pictures of it. I'm seeking $300,000 exchange for 10% equity. And as vegetarians, they had a really hard time finding foods that not only tasted great, but also had a really great texture. And mushrooms were very satisfying and also very healthy. Because you know how like people make like, um, mushroom bogles? Oh so, yeah! Like, is so it like, kind, of, like a kind of a meat substitute, I yeah, guess? Yeah, I feel like there's a way to make it be meaty. What did you say your sales were? On In 2018, we ended at 300,000. So like, we're gonna fast forward. Like, yeah, we get it. Just yeah, mushroom jerky, you know? Sounds cool. I have to negotiate a little bit, 15%. Would that work? And we can get this done and start going. 18, you got a deal. No, I'll 18, do it for 15. I'll yes do it for no 15. Yes or no to 18. You just hey, gave me an offer. You're hey, gonna live up to I'll it. I'll do it for 15. Mark, you got a deal. Oh, no! oh, oh, you guys. Ah. Oh, poor Lori always being left in the dust, you know? Wait, so why didn't he do it for the lower one, though? <laughs> I think they literally just want to be friends with Mark Cuban. Isn't it a thing where sometimes it shows up on TV that they got a deal, but they actually didn't? Yeah, I heard, I did hear that too, that yeah, after they actually negotiate and they can drop out. Oh, like see if they fully want to do it? Yeah. This bag that is pretty small is $7.99. I think actual jerky is expensive anyway. Like, it's not like as expensive price. as this, right? Or is it? Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like half the price. But this is a better, more, this is healthier ingredients, so. It does have that little thing in it. Like, why did, I don't know why Jokey only has to have that. It is moist. It's humid. Oh, that makes it a good smell. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. How does it actually look like beef jerky? That's just crazy. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Wait. Mmm, it's actually good. What flavor is this? This is just original. And this one? <laughs> nah. <laughs> why don't you, why don't you eat those then? It's actually good, but it's kind of gross for some reason. It's softer than actual jerky. You know, actual jerky is more like tough and like gets caught in your teeth and stuff. Well, I was just gonna say like kind of the opposite of you. Like it is getting stuck in my teeth. Oh really? If you only had like a little bite because you're kind of grossed out by it. But oh yeah. If you eat a big bite, it is like actual jerky. Like yes, I would for sure eat it. It's good. But the reason why I'm not like really like fully into it is because it kind of reminds me just of mushrooms in general. Like. Oh, like yeah. beef jerky is different than just beef and spaghetti. Was this just reminds me of like mushrooms and spaghetti? Like I actually would have been kind of surprised like them like not knowing it was a mushroom. It tasted like a uh, tender. Tender means it's like gushy, right? Yeah. It tasted just like a tender piece of jerky. If you had a, a bigger one though, it's actually like tough, which is which is uh, good because yeah. that's like basically a replica, like but, it's identical to jerky. Yeah, I mean I wouldn't get it again, but maybe if I become vegan though. Well, I just don't eat jerky in general. Like, you true, I don't even I crave. Like you wouldn't get it. Yeah. I don't even crave jerky, so. <laughs> Ding. The next thing is granola bottle, the world's first oat-based spread. Okay. I mean, the first thing that came to mind is this is dumb. But I realize people have peanut allergies. What I first thought of was oat milk is so big. So. Oh yeah. Oat Oat spread sounds like a good idea. I always felt bad because there was this one girl in my class who had a peanut allergy. And I remember I said to her multiple times in grade school, which is probably such a dick thing. I was just saying like, that's so sad you can't have peanut butter because like I'm just so good. But like, now she'd be able to. So I just hope she knows about this. I'm gonna have to message you her should, You should message her, yeah. I know, just let her know. This one didn't get a deal. <laughs> they were on Shark Tank. I couldn't find a video of them on Shark Tank. Wait, is that it? Oat House. Oh okay, yeah, this is the guy reacting to it though. Oh, okay. This is a random YouTube show I found. <laughs> it actually looks like almond butter. Oh damn, this looks, oh I love how it's juicy. 
Cool. Go them for utilizing YouTube Shorts for promotion. Do people on Amazon like it? Because the Shark Tank people hated it. Oh! Yeah, it has a four and a half star review. And this was $12.30, and this was on Amazon. I think almond butter probably is like $8. So yes, this is expensive. I wanna try it. Okay. I'm toasting a piece of bread so we can get the authentic and filter is it good? Cause like most people would probably eat this on bread. I don't really get why they put it in a box. Maybe because I ordered it on Amazon. Is the ingredient list super small? Let's see. Gluten-free oats, olive oil, maple syrup, coconut oil, cinnamon, rosemary extract, salt, allspice, cardamom, and ginger. Yeah, that, I mean, like I, we understand everything that's in it, so uh -huh. that's good. So it says stole well. I'll take a look in there. Oh, so it is completely separated. Smell it. It smells um, delicious. Oh my god, that smells like a sugar cookie. Damn. It smells a lot like cinnamon. I know. I have to get the plate out. It should have just smells like dessert. The toast is done. I don't know if you do have mixed peanut butter, but like, would you be annoyed by this? I, uh, it does annoy me that you have to mix it. I'm not gonna lie, but that's because it doesn't have all the preservatives or something, right? Yeah, some shit like that. Damn, this looks good. Oh. Put a nice thick layer. Okay. Like the spoon. Cinnamon graham cracker. Let me just try it. <sighs> it's actually, it is exactly like the cinnamon sugar bread um, our mom used to make. This is it. She would literally just put bread in the toaster, put butter on it, and cinnamon and sugar. And that's what this tastes like. Oh, damn. I just don't really get it. Like, how does this taste like that? It doesn't taste like peanut butter, though, or, any, or almond mm -hmm. butter. Same texture as peanut butter and almond butter, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't taste at all like those. Mmm. It just tastes like a cookie. The only thing I'm sad about is my friend who has a peanut allergy. She hasn't tried peanut butter by trying this. That being said though, it's damn good. If you have a nut allergy, cock some. That means buy it. I think it's a cock some. Uh -huh. I was like, you're encouraging people to get some cock? Okay. It's giving somebody who brings it to work, they don't have a nut allergy, but they keep mentioning it doesn't have nuts, but they don't even have a nut allergy. That's what it's giving. Mmm. It's giving you love it, but people are gonna make fun of you for having it. Oh, for sure. I thought that was a given. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Ding. Now we have Quavos. This is an egg white chip. Okay, that's different. I also couldn't find a Shark Tank clip of this either. I'm really flapping right now. But they did get a deal, so it is a Shark Tank success. Yay! Do we know who gave them the deal? Let's just say Barbara. Yeah. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, they have a commercial? Yeah. Maybe you're eating stuff because it tastes good. But most of what tastes good yeah. is horrible for us. Where's Wait, the fire. fiber? Nah. Where's the protein? They're low carb and keto friendly. Wow, that's a lot of great attributes. That's not it, Doc. They're also the world's only snack that's been freed from clarified butter. I don't really know what clarified butter means, but I'm, I'm assuming that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm glad it's not in there. I have no idea what it is. Quavos give you the freedom to enjoy an amazing snack that's also great for you. Okay, we we get it. It's a great for you chip, and most chips aren't great for you, so this is gonna be great for you. I mean, it is. It sounds very promising. Egg white chips? Are you kidding me? Yeah, because our egg whites like literally just protein, basically. Yeah. We got a pack of five like single serve bags, and it was fourteen forty nine. Three and a half stars. That's pretty good. It looks pretty promising. Uh, I want to eat it. Let's go. I go hop Oh, different flavors. We've got sour cream and onion, cheddar, honey mustard, and mesquite BBQ, and dill pickle. I'm looking, all these flavors sound amazing. So they basically got every flavor of Lay's. I mean, not every flavor, but like the most popular ones. And what's crazy is like, I thought this was gonna be a thing where like, oh, this would be like 20 calories because egg whites are nothing, but it still has a substantial amount. Like you still, be, you would still get full. Like if you want a little snack or something. Which is good. You don't want to yeah. eat a snack and be hungry after. If you look at the photo, I wasn't aware of this, but they don't look like actual chips. They look more like a crisp, a wheat thing. Cheese it? Yeah, that type of vibe. Cheese it, wheat thin. We're just gonna try one of each, or like, is that a dumb little opening one? What should we do? Let's try one of these. Okay, I'll try dill pickle. <laughs> oh, 
It's actually really good. It doesn't have the same texture of the chip, not as crunchy. The flavor is there. The flavor is there? I just don't know if the texture is there. Hmm. I actually don't mind the texture. I can just tell from these, these are the stuff that like make your breath stink. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like you're gonna be talking to someone at work after and there's a sour cream onion floating everywhere. Something about these does gross me out a little, and I think that was it. <laughs> Bad breath food. <laughs> honey mustard. I don't even think I like honey mustard in general. I'm not getting. I think this is the first thing in this video that I would genuinely buy these at the store. Whoever's putting flavor on these chips is doing it good because I just picture someone in the factory have so much powder flip each side. I know, like, and they're like really making sure every inch of it is covered I in the know. dust. Perfect coating of powders. Oh, barbecue, barbecue. barbecue. What's the steam? <laughs> what's what's that like? You know what that is? No. I just wanted to try all these because like, well, it's actually good because what if one of the flavors is lacking? Oh, but that's so true. Far, we have to let you guys know which ones they got on Amazon, you know? That's the least flow. <laughs> I did, but like last time only like one person liked it, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do they remind you of most texture wise? Because they remind me most of wheat. Let me think. Yeah, I don't even think they're that far off from like, just like a the chicken biscuit crackers or whatever. Shuttle. <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna like this one. You know, I feel like I'm gonna love it. You can open my hands are already too greasy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, we need to find out something. Are these fried or baked? Like, how are they? They have to be baked. Egg whites, milk, protein. I don't know how to find it out, but like, how are they made? Now that I think about it. I don't know. It was like two little kids made them. Yeah, I just <laughs> don't get it. But like, that's cool that they did it. Yeah, they aren't good. I don't like cheddar. Wait, I just knew I wouldn't. I knew I wouldn't like it. What's that flavor? Like, it doesn't really just like cheddar, it's just more like, um, the like butthole. I'm joking, I'm joking, it doesn't say butthole. <laughs> but it kind of does in a way, it just grows. <laughs> oh. even onion. I love this flavor, like, of mm. uh, Pringles, this is probably one of my favorite flavors. Okay. Yeah, I might actually have to get some of these, are these at the store? I mean, I don't think so. Not good. Mmm, this is actually like so good, I love this brand. I'd be interested what one of them tastes like with nothing on it. I think I'm gonna kinda do that right now. Suck Take it all up. <laughs> I'll try it here. Mmm, mine broke my mouth. Yeah, if they had no seasoning, I'm pretty sure they just taste like nothing. But who cares mm. because they have seasoning. I don't taste any, like I was kinda scared they were gonna take, like, taste like eggs or something, but they don't. I hope these spread across the nation and just get so big every gas station in the world. Yeah, because the only one that was weird was cheddar, but who gives a fuck, just get the yeah. other one. Wow! I was gonna be a hater, but I get what you're saying. Like, it's actually good flavors there. The keto, and I'm a keto monster. Like, for some reason, I'm, like, I have wanted a snack. Like, if I was in a gas station and wanted a little snack, like, I'm gonna get these next time. Would I pick this over Doritos, though? Depending on the day. I feel like I'd get this if I, like, had in my mind, like, oh yeah, like, I'm of a model now, so I know. I'd probably get this. But it was, like, Doritos. a hungover <laughs> bad mood day, going straight for the Doritos. Yeah. What? I'm glad they got a deal. Uh -huh. And I hope they keep us spinning. Pop off. Dinged. The last products we, we have today is Palmini. This is the only product I got in real life. You I said got it was at Walmart. A, oh yeah, they have a deal with Walmart. That's, it obviously got a deal then. It was like $3 for this can and I don't know that much about it, but I know it's like a, like a keto, healthy keto version of pasta. Holy shit. I know people were talking about this zero calorie pasta a few months ago, and this basically is zero calories. This whole can has um, 60 calories. Let, I mean, let's watch the, the thing and see what it's about. The palmini not only looks like pasta, but it can also <laughs> taste like pasta. Palmini punches calories in the face. It's carbs in the stomach. Yeah. This sounds like intense. It seems like it's really interactive. Oh, they have a whole show. Farewell to gluten. Oh, that was the only clip I could find. Just a quick 30 second clip, but they did get a deal. Yeah, they, they, they got a deal, so it's legit. I just want to know what it tastes like. It's made out of houts of palm. I actually want to Google what that is. What the is. hell is that? Um, I guess houts of palm are from palm trees. Okay. Okay, yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever had houts of palm. I've never even heard. It doesn't seem like a real thing, but I'm excited to try it. That's doodly. So this is already like um, cooked. Well, like I don't, I don't know how it works, but it's not like hot. <clears throat> oh my gosh. 
This isn't hard, you know, so we just have to heat it up, basically. I was looking at our wiki feet, and um, someone uploads every time either we show a feet on wiki. Oh my god, so they're gonna upload that? Yeah. Come on, say hi to them. It's funny how that I... <laughs> hey. <laughs> I am really excited to try this. Wait, it just look like noodles. Damn, okay. That's giving. <laughs> Okay, it was. <laughs> just social media in a nutshell. Go on TikTok, find a personality. <laughs> I know, that is literally what I'm doing today. Oh. I'm gonna try one cold. Oh, very much is. <laughs> I was just gonna say. It's very much giving. <laughs> just natural vocabulary. Uh, Accept it. <laughs> you know when you shoot eye down the zucchini? Try one. Oh, it just tastes like a vegetable, bitch. They overhyped it so just, much. When they just put a vegetable in noodle form, I think they can trick people. But maybe when it heated up, heats yeah, up. Yeah, these keto people need to stop. Now we're gonna add some sass. Oh yeah. Are we really doing it today? Oh yeah. See, now once you start stirring it, you need more sauce. Oh yeah, we need more of that. But Put in the comments if you're a sassy person or a non-sassy person. <laughs> okay, let us know. It's already warm and it's only been a few minutes. Add it to a bowl. Do you have um, Parmesan cheese? I might in the fridge, let's check. Let's make it fancy. I don't know, let's do the whole thing. Money isn't a thing to us. Mm -hmm. Use as much as you want, I don't care. The viewers at home are fooled. They think it's real pasta. Now, if you taste it. Thank you. Okay, let me just mix this out. Uh, by the way, um, I want to let it be known that I'm never trying to be a hater. Like, I'm actually like, I want to root for this company. Oh, yeah. Even though I don't even know who made it, but still. I can't tell if you're disappointed. Not gonna say anything, but you try it. Come on. Swirl up a little bit. Yeah, it just tastes like zucchini noodles. But with the sauce and cheese, it's good. And I do feel like, you do feel like you're eating noodles. Like if I was trying for some reason to not eat pasta, I would eat it, you know? That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, um, if, if I was at somewhere or, or like if I wanted to not eat pasta, I would eat it, but it just doesn't taste like actual pasta and it very much reminds me of zucchini noodles. It just gets to a point where like if I was in government, if I was in politics, I would um, probably make a law. Like if you make an imitation of something, you can't call it that. So these, oh, they yeah. like call it noodles. I feel like they should put like an, an asterisk. It doesn't actually taste like noodles. I get why products like this exist because if you just have broccoli and carrots with marinara sauce and cheese, it's just way better when they're shaped like what you think it is, you know? Yeah. Wasn't it expensive though? Oh okay, yeah, this is like three dollars for a can. Oh wait, is and that... I'm pretty sure like pasta, like a big box of pasta is like three dollars. So yeah, it's yeah. probably pricier than normal. Pretty soon ketos are gonna take over, so be scared. I know. It's fighting. They're gonna be in power soon. <laughs> <laughs> we tried six things from Shark Tank, and for the most part, they they are hiddles. I know, were any complete flops? I'm trying to think. I wouldn't say any of them are complete flops. They just have the pros and cons. Oh yeah. My favorite's definitely the huevos. Mm, my? Or was it cuevos? Cuevos, I mean. My favorite is the polvo coffee because I just love it and the flavor is immaculate. Yeah, this shit, it's gourmet. Um, see you guys later. Thanks for watching and subscribe, comment, like, follow, and add us on our I don't know. Bye. Bye.